I'm Sean Smith, and this is Salty Jobs. Hey everyone, we're here today at Walter Duke & Partners, a commercial real estate valuation company. So what that means is these guys work to determine the value of commercial properties and actually specialize in marinas and boatyards. There's a lot of really cool properties here in South Florida, so I'm excited to get started. We're here with Walter, Albert, and Kate. Guys, what are we gonna be doing today? Well, we just got a call from an out-of-town investor that needs to get the value of one of the properties here in South Florida. How do we go about finding the value? Well, in this case, uh, the investor has acquired a piece of property and they're contemplating building a marina on the property and they're asking us to determine, to help them determine, is it worthwhile? Will they be able to make money in this development? And so that's our job is to make, is to figure that out. Today, we'll be looking at the survey. We'll be looking at their costs. Once we get all that information together, Walter and I and you, We'll be going over to take a look at the property. Sounds fun. Let's right. get started with it. That's you the bet. best part. We're here with Kate, who is an appraiser in training at Walter Duke & Partners. Kate, I see the computer screen here in front of me. Is this part of the initial research? What are you doing? When an assignment comes in, what we like to do is look up the property online. We can look at the aerial view of it and see the entire outline of the property and the whole size of it. Oh, very smart. So technology really is a big part of this process. Yes, right? definitely. There's a lot of information that we can find very quickly and easily online. So what put you on this career path? How'd you end up doing this? I was born and raised here in Fort Lauderdale. I went to college in North Florida. So when I moved back, I knew I wanted to work in the marine industry. I've been around it my entire life. I'm doing a paid internship here at Walter Duke & Partners, which is allowing me to experience different property types and get the experience on marine-related properties and other commercial real estate as well. Okay, so you've really taken the college path to the marine industry. Yes, actually I'm really glad that I did because having a bachelor degree is a requirement to be an appraiser now. Oh, really? So I didn't plan on that, but I'm really glad that I went through with it because now I need it. <laughs> well, I'm looking forward to getting over to the property and uh, seeing what you do on site. We're here at the marina with Albert, a senior appraiser at Walter Duke & Partners. Albert, what are we gonna be doing here today? Well, we're gonna go back up land here and use the measuring wheel and measure out the perimeter of the building. That way we'll be able to figure out the square footage of it. We use a little bit of algebra, we use a little bit of geometry, and uh, it helps us come up with a value for the property. So all that math I thought I'd never use when I was learning it in high school, you use every day? Every single day. This marine is a really unique property. It's a borrow pit where they took all the dirt out of the basin area and put it over on I-95, the overpass here, about 25, 30 years ago. So this marina has a very deep basin of 40 feet compared to the river, which is only about 10 or 15 feet deep. So it's a different docking system here? It's definitely a different docking system than the rest of the marinas that we see on the new river. It has dead mans down to the bottom, which are 40 feet down, and in most of the marinas it's only about a 10 or 15 feet of water. We want to be able to convey to the client what the condition of the property is, and the mooring system is very important. I'm looking forward to uh, seeing this hands-on here today. Using the measuring wheel and a large tape measure, Albert and I took measurements of the property to determine the square footage. After a quick change, we went out on Albert's boat to view comparable properties from the river. Lastly, it was into the water to check the condition of the mooring system. With all this information in hand, we were ready to determine the value of the property and give our recommendation to the investor. So what that means is these guys work to determine the value. Ah. We're here with Kate, who is an appraiser. Ah. We'll do multiple property types and um, through that all, you know. <laughs> You're good. Learn everything. 